Hello, welcome back. David Tayo here for The New School. Today's tip is on a little window that you might not know about in Pro Tools. It's called the system usage. If you're getting choppy playback or some other kind of strange behavior, it might be a good idea to find out what kind of system resources Pro Tools is chewing up, because uh, Pro Tools can be a beast. Uh, so let's uh, let's see about it. What I've got here is a, a relatively large session. It's got about 45 tracks or so. I'm running a bunch of plugins, nothing too crazy. Um, but let's uh, look at the system usage. Right now, Pro Tools is stopped. I'm gonna go to window and pull up system usage. It's on the bottom of this menu. Excuse me, there we go. So you can see my totally awesome computer has 10 cores in it and they're all basically sitting there doing nothing saying, Dave, please, please beat us up. Well, don't you worry, I'm, I'm about to. Uh, actually, not really, they're gonna handle totally fine. Uh, yeah, so check it out, I'm gonna hit play. And you can see the system usage went up a little bit. Uh, the disk activity is up at you know four percent right now, which is minimal, three percent, two percent, nothing. And none of my processors are being tasked more than three percent. So uh, that's kind of cool. I do enjoy using an extremely powerful computer here in my studio at home. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you're having issues with any of that stuff, sorry, I'm totally geeking out. Uh, if you are having any playback issues, go ahead and check that. Make sure you're not overtaxing your CPU or maybe running out of disk, uh, not uh, running out of disk, but make sure you know if, you, if, you're, if your disk can't stream the audio fast enough, that's what that percentage on the bottom will tell you. Uh, and also if your memory is getting all eaten up. Oh, there it goes, what's it jumping up for? Yeah, no idea, but it took right care of it. Beautiful, okay, thanks very much. Dave Tile for The New School, take care.